welcome back to the channel today i want to show you how to add extra units to an already designed bridge so i have this bridge that i designed in the other video and as you can see we only selected two units but if i wanted to add an extra molar for example to the distal of the 36 i would need to do it this way so first we go to expert mode because this is already merged i'm gonna have to delete the merged part and we arrive to the walk up stage now you go to freeforming and here you're gonna add an attachment it's gonna be selected already the add option and you come to the list and you select load from file now i already have the tooth models that i did a preset in a previous video and i'm gonna select the 37 and i'm gonna open it here you can select rotate or do not rotate it doesn't matter because the coordinates it's from another file so now you bring it to the distal of the molar and you need to play around a bit, rotate it. You kinda need to swap it between rotate and moving, just try to place it in a good position. And then this part is really important, you need to make sure that the crown and the bridge are overlapping, otherwise they, they will not connect. So once you're happy with the, the position of it, just a bit taller just go and apply so now as you can see they are glued together if you go back to free forming you can see that they are connected there and now you design it normally so if you want to close this hole for example you just come here to the anatomic paint and pull and very easily just paint green all this area in between them and then pull it down like this and then you just need to smooth it like that and you can bulk up the palette if you want and then it works as as per usual then you can adapt the occlusion and all the things that you would you would be able to do with a normal and as, as you can see now you have a three unit bridge where previously you only selected two now if you want to if you want to add another unit you can do it just just do as we have done before you come here you add another one so you could do like a, as many units as you, as you would like. You can also do it another way and I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to cancel this and you can, you can, for example, use a pre-designed bridge, like an FP1 bridge that I've used in previous videos. So you can add remove mesh. You go to a generic visualization mesh, you go load and you bring up a pre-designed bridge like this one. Now the idea here is just to trim this, for example, imagine that I wanted to add two extra molars. So you come here, you select the bridge, right click on it, edit mesh, and we're just going to trim the teeth that we want to use, for example, these two teeth. So you do a box, you select crop, then you select the bridge again and close holes. Now you go OK. Make sure that you hide everything and just make the visualization mesh visible. Then you go right click on the save button, you select exports into mesh, then you save it anywhere and name it two molars for example. Save it, save visible objects only, you select yes and you can use, use default coordinate system, doesn't matter. Now once you go back to the freeforming and you, add, you want to add them, just go as we did previously. So you go add, you go load from file, you select the STL that you exported and then just place it in the correct position. So you go back and forth with the move and the rotate options and once you're happy with that, again make sure that they are overlapping between each other and then apply. And you're gonna have a four unit bridge where previously it was just a two unit bridge. Now, if you want to learn how to do the presets, watch this video next. Thank you for watching.